What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we're going to check out an Apollo 8 photo. Now what you're going to find is some things look, mm, could be natural lunar surface, some things not so much. I'm going to point out the, the larger things first, and then there's going to be a part where I'm going to stop. I'm going to say, guys, pause this now and have a look with your magnifiers, your eyepieces, or the magnifier that's built into your actual software on your computer, right? So let's get into this. And you can see right here is Project Apollo Archive. It's on Flickr. And you can see it's Apollo 8, and it's 8-13-2326. Okay, and this is from Apollo 8 Magazine 13E. And you can see right here is uploaded on October 4th, 2015. Okay. Again, guys, washed out piece of garbage as usual. You guys can go down to the lower right of this and click on the original, which is 4400 by 4600, right? And right off the bat, guys, since when does the moon look like this? I mean, crazy, right? All right. And you can see we can see absolutely nothing. It's completely void of really any kind of serious detail. Where are all the shadows? Where are all the things that is, you know, you're supposed to see, like shadowings on the side of these craters and everything else? And to be honest with guys, when I see these weird craters looking like that, they're, to me, the CGI. Because I can look at an LRO photo, looks really crystal clear. So why, you may ask, would they you know, render a photo like this. Well, completely washed out. You can't see any details. But we're going to bring a whole lot of it out right now. So let's jump out of that. And again, look at this. Absolutely nothing to see here. Very little at all, except some whiter dots. And that's pretty much it, right? Okay. Jump into Photoshop. I rotated 22 degrees clockwise, so you don't have to break your neck off to try to look at this stuff. And again, we can zoom in, and there's not a whole lot of anything here, right? Let's go ahead and hit the first enhancement. So what we're going to do first is try to cut through this whited out layer first. Let's see what we get. Okay, this is a lot better. Now let me just show you a couple things here right off the bat that just struck me, right? Again, I'm 50-50 on a lot of these things, but some of these things, uh, are they natural? You guys be the judge as always. Let's go down to this lower pot right here. And then we're going to dock it up all of these other pots here, you see, right? And we're going to try to bring out more and more of this. Okay. Again, what what do we see here? Almost like this weird tower type thing, if you will, right? Let me just zoom in here, okay? Almost looks like this weird tower sticking up. Almost has like this dark circle at the very top of it, right? And you see it right here, the whole thing. With this coming up like this. Kind of looks like it comes down like this. But it has this weird circle... A dark center right there. You guys see that? Right there. But what I find interesting about it is this right here. Comes down like this. Nice 90 degree corner. Or pretty darn close, right? And yet there's another piece doing this. Well, that's not very straight, but you get the, you guys get the And it does this. You can see what looks like these weird little pieces. Here. And then if you look, you got these other ones. One. Two. And three. What is that? Just, I mean, just that alone looks crazy. Let me back out. You guys can have a look at it with your magnifiers. Right there. Okay. Let me get rid of that. those lines. You can take a better look. Pause it. Now, let's go over to here. This almost looks like it's been buried or it's been surrounded by manipulation, which would not surprise me. Right here. Not sure what to make of that. Just some weird little features in here that I'm not sure sure what that is. This is another interesting cluster or whatever this thing is. Check that out. What I find interesting is the way it does this. Comes around, does this here, comes like this here, goes around. And it looks like it has multiple pieces standing up and there's a bunch of details on that, right? See that? Okay, let's bounce over here. Not sure what to make of this here. Maybe just a lighter spot that they covered up. Now keep in mind, just because they overlaid this photo with a with a whiteout doesn't mean they didn't manipulate it first. That's what they usually do. Manipulate it first, take out everything they don't want you to see, and then put a whiteout so they can really try to cover their tracks, right?
I believe this thing's hidden in here, but this has really been covered up. But it looks like something faintly right here. Like sticking out. I'm not sure what to make of that. Okay. Back out. Again, guys, I'm going to tell you where to pause this because interesting, interesting stuff. Because this is the area right here in question we're really going to have a look at. Right here. Let's get into it deeper. Okay. Now, pause this now. This is not dark. I don't have it at the darkest stage where they're going to enhance the darker areas and bring out the brighter areas. So look at that right now. Pieces like this. And this. Here. This one. And everything in between here that you see that has a whited area. Look at the small little pieces all in between here and around what looks like almost a semicircle. Almost like this is in a low elevation right here. Look at the pieces that are in there carefully. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that line, and we're going to go even deeper into this. Okay? Again, pause it anywhere you like. Okay? Let's keep going. Keep looking at these things. Here's another thing I want to show you before we bounce back to this. What do you suppose this item is right here? This object almost looks like there's some kind of machinery or something buried. What I see is it looks like, and you're going to see this pr pretty good in a second. It looks like these round openings. Okay. Another one right here on the side of it. And it looks like there's another one on the side of it. What looks like tubes or something coming out of it. Okay. Okay. And out of this one, too. You can see that. I'm just going to back up just a little bit. Have a look at it with your magnifiers. That, to me, does not look natural at all, right? Okay. So let's back out. Get back to the same spot. Right here. This is the area that I mostly focused on. I also want you to keep an eye on this right here. That looks to be some kind of weird, almost like roadways or something. Or it's just the way these things run right like here. See that? See the way that's doing that? I'm just going to zoom out just a little bit. Now check these things out. I'll go back out again. I don't want to go too far out. I'm going to keep going with this. Different stages of enhancement. I'm going to bring it out more and more. Also take note of this weird thing sticking. It almost looks like there's something sticking up right here. Almost top left. Well, it's in the center. But right there, it looks like it appears to be something sticking up. Right here. Okay. Let's keep going. All right. All right. This is where we make it completely darkest. Now check these things out. I see too many things here, guys, that looks like it's intelligently made. Now, I'm not saying everything in this photo is, but what I'm seeing here is. Now, I'm going to put just a slight blur in here. Have a good look at this. Here's another thing, guys. I don't know. You probably noticed this already, but I saw this line here coming right here. Okay. Coming down from the top, almost top left, coming down. Of course, I need a straight line, but you get the idea. Okay, and I'm saying, wow, this must be some kind of transportation tube. Because, man, I'm looking at this, and it looks freaky. And the reason why I say this is I'm going to dock out here a little bit. And you can also see other things laying in here. Pause this now. Look at the little pieces on both sides of this line. Have a look. I'm just going to back up just a hair bit more. Have a look. So just pause it. Okay. When you get back in, I saw this line, and it seems to hit certain points along the way, such as this piece. By the way, keep an eye on these little things right here. Look like man-made structures or intelligently made structures. Going into this other little boy piece, and especially this larger one here. Right there. I'm saying, wow, this must be some kind of transportation thing. Let's just back way out. Look at this. Let's go ahead and hit that like that. Okay. But 
unfortunately, we got to be realistic here. This is nothing more than a stitch line. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to the top. Now, the LRO would actually take these photos in strips. Now, if you look, there's one here. You see another one here. One here. Very faint, but they're there. This is the one here at the top that you're seeing in the top right. That's the one. It goes right into this one here. Now, I was trying to draw a straight line into this thing, kind of go like this, thinking maybe that's not quite it, but it's too darn close to say it's not. So I'm going to assume that that is just more, it's just a stitch line of these photos that were put together, right? Um, we can see it here. Another one right here. But again, take note of the little piece right here. Again, things that just don't quite look like it's like it's natural. Take a look at it with your magnifiers, guys. Just back out just a little bit in case it's too fuzzy on people with the bigger screens. Just like I said, the smallest things pop right out. Something up here. Whatever this may be, okay? You can see whatever it is, it looks like it's doing this. At least the outline is showing this. See a nice smooth corner right here? Now, this is either buried by some kind of something process on the moon, or it's something they manipulated out, which I'm, I'm going to go with the latter. They probably manipulated this thing out. But you can see bits and pieces in here inside this. You guys see that thing? Look at this. Yeah. There's just, guys, it just you just have to look. There's a ton of things in here to see. There's something right here sticking out of the ground. Right next to this other piece right here. Right there. Okay. Okay, we're going to go to the darkest pot there. I believe there's something else right here, and I'm not sure what to make of this. Right here. Because keep in mind, guys, this was the pot that was really lit up. Right there. The side of this crater wall. Not sure what to make of that. And again, inside this... Right here. Check this out. This is that piece I showed you earlier. Right there. Look at this thing. It has one... Two, and it has what looks like a faint line doing this, going around. And you can see what looks like, it almost looks like some kind of weird craft, structure, or some sort laying right inside it. But look at the way this thing is. Come on, guys. Look at this. Nothing there to see, right? And again, we can go back down now to those other two pieces we started off with. Now this is really darkened up a bit. Way down the bottom. And check this thing out now. Check that out. And again, guys, nothing here to see. It's not even there. But get through this garbage. Bring out the shadowing. Bring out the stuff that's really there. You can actually see this right here. I can see it right there. It is, in fact, in the photo. I can see the top of it right here. Right there, going down like this. Let's see, that's the base, and it comes back up. See it? So it is, in fact, there. Right? Love the shape of it back here. Almost like the shape of a heart, right? Okay. The piece next to it. This one right here. Again, kind of weird. I'm not even sure what to make of that. Yeah. This other object up here. All right, up here. You can, this is pretty interesting, too, because I'm not sure what to make of this, but that doesn't look natural. At least to me, it doesn't, right? Right here. It goes around like this here. Not sure what to make of that. Okay. And then look at all the little pieces in here, like I said earlier. There they are, guys. Check out these things now where, like, even this piece is pretty wild looking right there. It's, 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 it makes you wonder, are these like 
crafts that have just sat here for millions of years? Are these structures? What are these? This piece way over here on the left almost looks like some weird structures. There's two of them. Looks like on the side of each other. Going down the wall, or hanging on the wall of this crater. You can see right here if we back out, right? Makes you wonder, what is this stuff? This piece right here on the right. We'll zoom into that a little bit. Is that natural, guys? I don't think so. Look at the actual details, a little darker details. See that one and one? See them? Those two there? Yeah. This right here. Not sure what they even make of that. And this one. Yeah. Guys, tell me what you think. What are we seeing here? I'm sure some of the stuff may actually be lunar surface, meaning natural, and I'd be okay with that. Some of this stuff, not so much. Again, I'm going to stop over here. Pause it. Have a look at it with your magnifiers, guys. Tell me what you think. Too many things in here to be just natural. I believe, like I said, the, the stuff that was in the lower part of this photo, yeah, that's, that's not normal. Something right here. Look at this. Look inside that with your magnifiers. And whatever this is right here. Look at that. There you go, guys. Tell me what you think. Guys, what are we seeing here? It looks like structures. Some of these things could be, in fact, just natural lunar surface, right? But is it all? I don't believe that it is. There's too many things in it that just have these weird shapes to them and would look like there's details. Like, some of these things look like they're on pads, like I've been saying for a long time now. Things that are on pads... It looks like it has a dome to it or other little objects all over them. That's what it appears to me. Some of this stuff looks natural or 50-50 for me. What do you guys think? As always, guys, please like and share and comment and drop your thoughts below. Always love to hear what you guys have to say. And folks, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It is appreciated and it gets the video shared through YouTube. And guys, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the little notification bell on the right-hand side so you'll be notified of the new upcoming videos. Anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. Drop your thoughts below. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.